to introduce is a play that we're going to have two women come up and some other women are going to be at the front. It's about the Sharia law and it's brought to us by the campaign to end the Sharia law. Hello everybody, what a great pleasure to have you here side by side for common cause. We are here today to show you what Sharia law means. As you know, in 2003, a bunch of mullahs in Toronto, they used 1991 Arbitration Act to bring Sharia law in Canada. Can you believe this? We ran away from hell, from Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq, Sudan, Algeria, to put up with this shame, shame. Now my friend, she's going to wear the same dress code Sheikh Hamid, he wears in Toronto. And we're gonna display briefly what the leader of Islamic, who the author spoken at, advocate of Sharia law in Vancouver in Toronto. Okay, you my know, friends, there you go. You know, although, I'm gonna say this, although lately the Sharia supported, they shame, they wear ties, they speak English very well, better than me, but they cannot hide their 1,500 years. They cannot hide their 1,500 years women hating and human rights violation. Shame! Shame. This, this face I'm gonna wear is no different than Taliban. We don't wanna have Sharia court in Canada. Canada, we don't wanna go back to 1500 years ago. Women who came from Iran, Afghanistan, Algeria, Saudi Arabia, they don't wanna see that in Canada. We don't want to go back. This is embarrassing for all freedom lovers, for all the people who are fighting for equal citizen right. There should be only one right for everybody. Here we have Sheikh Hamid. Just look. I'm going to interview Sheikh Hamid. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. This is true. It was in Toronto. We invite him for the seminar. He had same dress code as you see, and you he know, said same points as we're gonna have in a, in my interview with him. Before we go, we go to say yes. I was planning to have an umbrella here as a support and write on it our British Act and cultural relativism, but I couldn't make it. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Now say yes. <laughs> you started. Okay, now tell me, Sheikh Hamid, how dare you are to raise the issue of Sharia law in Canada? We, as a Muslim community, trying to write to practice our rights. Our British Act in Canada allows us to set up our family court, Islamic on, on, on our religious Islam, Islamic family court based on or laws and rules which we call Sharia. This, this is good for everybody. It's good for Canadian justice system saving money for them and also for us to keep our belief, cultural and religious alive. Ha, I'm sure it is good for saving money for Canadian justice system to give up our equal citizen rights but let's go back to the term of family that you just mentioned. Can you tell me what is your definition of family? It's obvious. Family is a marriage, only marriage between a man and woman. What? So how about the parents 
who discovered his daughter is a gay and want to get married to a girl, what would be your reaction to the family or to the father who fit on his woman, his wife, to bring up such a kid? What would be your reaction? No way. No way. In Muslim community, this is impossible. Plus, letting gay marry, that is, would be like bestiality. Same-sex enough, 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 same enough. marriage, it oh, would be worse yeah. than towards yeah. permitting incest. Shame, embarrassing, oh please. Okay, how about in case of this, this, hey, how about in the case of divorce? What would you say in the case of divorce? Who has the, the custody of the children? Well, men has more responsibility. Therefore, we give right to men unless, unless the child is an infant and need breastfeeding from mother. So how about mother? He, she can't have the custody of her children? Yeah, in some rare cases, if the man if the man is on drug or in big trouble, and if he doesn't have any relative to get the kids, in that case, we may consider. That's shame. Okay, let's forget about that. How about inheritance? How do you treat women for inheritance? Men has lots of responsibility in Islam. That's why women get half a man's share. What? That's disgusting. Okay, forget about that. Let's go for the divorce. Does woman have right for divorce? Yeah, in some cases, if a woman applies for divorce and the man doesn't agree, we, we strongly encourage women to find a way to not split up their family. But if the man, like I said, doesn't support financially the family, in that case, we may consider divorce. Oh, I see. Okay, now let's move on from the topic of the family. I want to ask you other questions. I remember in CBC, you mentioned something about women drivers. What was your comment? Oh, I said, women drivers permitted if it is necessary. So if the husband disagrees, you are saying that women cannot drive for leisure, right? If it is necessary, they can drive. That's shameful. Shame! 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 So it is obvious after years of fighting, women here have got many more rights. Don't you think if a woman comes to your family court, she will lose all her equal citizen rights? Could, uh, could she use the old Canadian justice system? Yeah, they might lose this way, but they gain credit by sacrificing themselves for the God's order. Uh, why don't you say what would happen to the woman? She doesn't obey the decision of Sharia court. So how about the woman who doesn't avoid, obey the, this decision? Anyone who, anyone who Anyone who turns her back on us, turning her back on God's order. So I hope you all got the sense of what is Sharia law. And please, I encourage you, go to the website www.nosharia.com. I have, let me talk. I came here to feel safe. I came here to practice human rights. I came here to get away from fear, segregation, harassment, torture, to not to be counted as a half a man. Canada, how far backward you want to go? You cut welfare, social assistance from the poor. You you slash the budget from medical health care. You cut the budget for women's shelter and support centers. You cut the free legal aid and social justice system for the poor. In 21st century, you allow, you, per, you allow segregation between boys and girls in elementary school. Shame! Shame! And now, now, you show green light. Welcome political Islam to 
put up my equal citizen rights. Shame! I don't need cultural relativism because you think I belong to 1500 years ago. Shame! No to Arbitration Act. Repeal your Arbitration Act. Repeal Arbitration Act. One law for everybody. One law for everybody. Please go to the website www.nosharia.com. Thank you. We are cutting off because the time is over.